Do you suffer from cramps in your calves? Well, then you've come to the right place because I'm going to show you an exercise and two trigger points you press to handle the problem quickly and then wrap things up by demonstrating three things you can do to never have to face that problem again. I've brought Ina along as always, and now Ina is experiencing a cramp in her right calf right now. So, Ina, imagine you wake up in the middle of the night and you've got this searing pain messing up your calf. So the first thing you do is to leave your leg as it is. Stretching out is probably impossible. And you pull your foot back as much as possible. Here, it's important to keep your knee bent and then pull on your foot to shorten this angle here. And that'll be done in a second. And then... If you feel it's okay the way you've pulled it back, then you take the stretching strap or a belt in case you're flexible enough to stretch out your leg and can still reach your foot. It's a hard thing to do without practice. You could use your hands as well. But let's be on the safe side because most people out there simply cannot do that. So take our strap here. So you put your foot into the loop of the strap. Normally, you you go to bed without your shoes on. And make sure the strap sits firmly on your toe joints. By the way, in case you don't have our stretching strap yet, you can find information on it up there. And then slowly pull back. Slowly extend your leg. But keep your foot in this upright position while you're extending your leg. Don't relax here. You keep pulling hard on your foot and slowly stretch out your leg so that the angle in your foot stays the same. And then, just stop for a second. Maybe you could feel the stretch hurting in your calf. Then breathe in and out three times, wait a second, and continue. Okay, Ina, extend your leg farther out. At a certain point, yes, adjust the strap if it's about to slip off. At a certain point, your knee is locked. If you have something suitable close by, a pillow maybe, to prop up your foot, or you could use one of your rollers. So, and then you get this position, because by now the cramp should have disappeared. And since you're sitting anyways, you could just simply arch your back and slowly bend your trunk forward, but always keep the pull on your foot. That is very important. You do that for two, two and a half minutes. And the cramp will be gone after 10, 20 seconds already. Then you leave the position. And that was the first part of the job. Please, give us a thumbs up as feedback that you've liked the exercise the way we did it. And as I promised, I'm going to show you two trigger points to press on right after you're done with the exercise. So let's just say you got rid of your cramp. Then you go and take either a cork, a wine cork, and whittle it into the shape I'm showing you here. This is the shape you want. Or you take this tool from our osteopressure tool set with the soft top attachment. Have it ready nearby at night if you tend to have cramps. If you don't know our osteopressure tool set, you can find the infos right up here. And then there are two trigger points I'm going to show you. Well, Ina is going to show you. Always on the outer side of your leg. So, touch the outer side of your leg, and then you could feel your bone in there, and you could feel how that bone becomes broader. Yeah? Let me feel it. Yeah, we're right on it. More down here, not up here, down here. On the back of the bone, where it becomes broader. And that's where you place this tool very carefully because the point is very sensitive for most people. Enid, did you find it? Let me guide you. It could be here. It takes some practice. You won't find it right away. But it's worth it because the moment you know how to reach that point, you'll be all set for the future. That is the first of the two points. This is where the one cord of this thick calf muscle runs. Not that you've got fat ankles, don't get me wrong. This muscle in general is thick, and its outer part runs in here. And so you could relax it immediately via your brain using the osteopressure technique to trigger that effect. And then we want to work on the inner side of your leg. 
I'm going to turn towards the camera. So you do the same on the inner side. Try to find the point yourself. Now, try it out. Start well above your knee and then feel your way down to the underside of this bone. And when you've got that point, you place the cork or the tool on it and apply pressure. How does that feel? Intense? For most people, this point is much more sensitive than the outside point. Press on it. Stay on it. Wait for the pain to subside. You may think you're getting used to it, but it's not about that. It's about the fact that this pressure affects your brain and changes the tensions that control your muscles. That's the great thing about our osteopressure technique. So this is the layperson version of the technique that our physical therapists use every day in their therapy. It's simplified for you, so it's easier to handle. So you maintain the pressure, wait for the tensions to dial down. Wait a second. Now the tensions have been dialed down, and that should help you manage the cramps in your calf. Now, here comes a real highlight. I'm going to show you three exercises, and if you do them, you'll never have a cramp in your calf. So I'll show you the exercises, and you can integrate them into your daily life and do them when you have the time. Here's number one. Ina, please get on all fours. Move up a little so that we're well in the camera frame. Well, make sure that this angle here is flat. Most people can't manage this and their heel goes up. But the foot has to come down at a flat angle. So you could sit. So, you know, so just sit back on your heels because that pushes your feet into this flat angle and that makes it a nice stretching exercise to boot. You may encounter some knee problems, some knee pain, and can sit back only that far. But still, even in this position, through your leg here and your weight, you're pushing your feet down. So take your right hand to help your foot come down. Just try and get this angle flat. For exercise number two, you have to get up and stand straight. So move back a little bit so we can see you better. So now we're going to work on your right leg. So please take one step ahead with your left leg and have your foot point forward. Bend your knee. Don't move your hips too far back. Bend your knee to create a straight line running from your upper thigh to your trunk. And then you could feel an intense stretch here in this angle of your foot. That was exercise number two. And from exercise number two, you transition into exercise number three by locking your knee and then move your hip forward and down to develop a stretch there. And these three exercises will help prevent any cramps in your calves. But you have to do them regularly. That's the secret. So that was it for your calf cramps. You should be well prepared to tackle that problem. So please, subscribe to our channel. Click on it. Click on the bell because then you won't miss any videos. And please, send us a comment on how you like the exercises. And of course, give us a big thumbs up if we were able to help you.